Hey, this is Mike Hobbs and I want to make this short video for, for one purpose because I get a lot of support tickets uh, and people you know keep forgetting their passwords or uh, maybe something doesn't work, they can't log in a certain area or maybe they never received my email. I mean, there's a whole bunch of support tickets that go on. Uh, I don't actually personally handle them, but I see them all the time from our support staff uh, and those are probably the three most common things that happen and I really wanted to, to help you uh, in your internet marketing career here uh, actually have the tools, have the resources, have the things, the organizational things that you need when you're first starting out. Okay, uh, So this is going to be more catered to someone who is new or maybe someone who's experienced that may not have these easy to do uh, tools. So the first one I want to really talk about is your passwords. Uh, now. Being in internet marketing, I've actually had probably, uh, I looked up in my password tool that I have, I have, have, I have over a thousand passwords, guys. A thousand saved passwords. Did I ever think I would have that many accounts and that many passwords when I first got started? Heck no, I wouldn't have thought that, you know? And, and you may be thinking that's overwhelming right now, but you never know. After five, six years of your internet, business you may have just about the same okay because there's tools that come and go and and different things that you use as technology advances so the first tool let me show you right here lastpass.com lastpass.com now there's some other password tools that you can download like roboform is out there and uh i think there's some other ones but lastpass.com do not rely on your internet browser for one because if your your passwords can get cleared off super super easy if you ever get hacked your passwords are are available okay to them the people who hacked your browser or hacked your internet so do not use the internet browser like firefox google chrome or whatever do not use the password saver inside your internet browser use something like lastpass which they hold it in a secure vault okay or something like RoboForm, okay? So that's number one. I'm not gonna show you exactly how to use it, I'm just gonna let you know about the tool, okay? This is gonna be a quick video. So use LastPass to remember all your passwords. You'll never have to remember a password again. Like, let me just show you the example. Um, so let's say I go to a, a website, like Facebook or whatever. <clears throat> let me sign out. You'll notice that I don't have to remember my password because it fills it in right there. Okay, it just automatically fills it in for me. It can click auto login, auto fill, whatever you need to have done. You don't have to remember the password, which means you can make them as hard as you want so people can't hack your accounts because this tool will remember it. So that's one, the most important one. That'll save you on a whole bunch of support tickets in the future, okay? The next one is your email account. Uh, I can't tell you how many times Someone will, will join this business with an AOL or Comcast or some type of email account that their internet provider provides them and then wondering why they don't get their emails uh, from a lot of these online programs. You know, just going to let you know right now that gmail.com, so gmail.com, get an email account there. If you still want to use those other email services, that's fine. There's a forwarding feature in Gmail. So you can actually go over here, uh, go to your settings in Gmail, and you can click forwarding, and you can actually forward this Gmail account to your, to your email account that you want to use. So if you want to use Comcast or AOL or whatever, you can forward your Gmail account to those, but for everything you do when you sign up online, use Gmail. Use Gmail in your autoresponders, in your programs that you join, uh, everything that you join online in the internet marketing business, use your Gmail account. It has less bounce rate, uh, more, more. It'll get delivered better than anything else. And then, if you really don't want to use it, just forward all your mail to the one you want to use. But utilize this email account on all of your online programs. And I promise you, again. You will you will miss, you won't miss out on a lot of those uh, or on those emails that you keep saying that you're missing or whatever. Okay, this will prevent probably 90% of that problem. Okay, so get a Gmail account, forward it to whatever you need to forward, or just start using this one, especially for your online business. Now, there's another cool thing about Gmail. 
uh, is the filters. Okay, you can actually create little filters. They're called filters. So if you want to filter a certain person's email, it's really, really uh, awesome how you can do that. You can literally just click on someone's email right under here, more filter messages like these, filter it. And you can choose things like never send to spam. You can put them in a folder and a label they call it. Uh, you can skip the inbox if you don't want to see them in the inbox. And this is just helps you be organized. Okay, Gmail does this. I know other email providers do it like Yahoo, MSN, those other ones uh, do things like this. But I'm telling you guys, if you want to avoid all the issues, get a Gmail account. And uh, it also allows you to, to utilize all their calendars or Google Drive, all their other cool Google products uh, with a Gmail account. So anyway, just go go do it. If Just trust me on this. It's going to save you a lot of uh, time and energy without, you know, trying to figure out where this email went. Okay. You'll know that it got delivered. Okay. The last thing is your web browser. Okay. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but normally when you uh, get online and I see people that have errors, like they'll go to a website and I can't log in or, or something's happening. A lot of the times it's the web browser. Okay. The, this is just the fact of the matter. Um, there's a whole bunch of programs that can't cater to every web browser on the planet. So, you know, when a, when a company, I mean, experienced programmers can, but not every website has the same programmers, okay? Every website is different. So you never know if they're going to be up to date on Firefox or up to date on Google Chrome or up to date on every single browser out there. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, in Internet Explorer, for some reason has the most bugs okay so especially in our industry so it's something about the programming or I don't know what it is but websites don't work on Internet Explorer the same as everywhere else okay and that's just on some of them so here's what I want you to do I want you to download two extra browsers so if you're on Mac you already have Safari uh, download Firefox and Google Chrome okay if you're on uh, PC, I want you to also down, download Firefox and Google Chrome. You can Google, Google them and, and find them online if you don't know what I'm talking about. But Firefox and Google Chrome are two awesome browsers. So if something's not working on, on your browser of choice, use one of those other twos and then try to do whatever you're doing. And then if it doesn't work on all three, then you can send in a support ticket or then you can go... Uh, after the source, but a lot of the times I'm going to just tell you it's it's not the company's fault It's the browser. Okay. A lot of times a lot of errors are is the browser So I hope this helped you so another last thing on Firefox uh, My favorite is Firefox because they actually have cool little uh, add-ons they call them so if you go to your Firefox browser and you you go into your add-on section these are just a couple that I have. Uh, you can pause the screen and write them down if you want and Google them. But these have a lot of internet marketing uh, power. Okay, so you know Alexa can tell you the Alexa ranking of any website. Download videos. Uh, LastPass it actually integrates in here. X Marks that's another uh, uh, bookmarking service. Y Stamp. So I have a whole bunch of add-ons in my Firefox browser that make my life a lot easier as well. Uh, th these things are not available on any other browser, so that's why I like Firefox a lot. And I make this my primary one, and if something doesn't work, then I go over to Google Chrome. If something doesn't work there, then I go over to Safari. If it still doesn't work, then I go to the company and see what's wrong. But yeah, those are the three things. So again, just to recap, save your passwords. That'll save you a lot of time and effort. Uh, do a new Gmail account and start filtering stuff in your Gmail accounts and then use the three different browsers, at least three different browsers uh, when you're doing online marketing. And if you do those three things, I promise you your life is going to be a lot easier and you're going to avoid a lot of the pitfalls uh, new people make when they're, when they're sending support tickets in and wasting a lot of time. They're wasting a lot of time when they can just usually get it done if they would have followed one of these three things in this video. So with that, make it a great day. Find out more about our team in the description box, and I'll see you guys in the next video.